If you need to get smarter in Cisco, if you need to prepare for a Cisco certification, if you need to build a modeled network or a lab environment to test protocols and things like that, Cisco CML, Cisco Modeling Labs, may be just for you. I'm going to introduce you all to CML in this video, and so let's get going. Some of you watching this video are uh, looking at this to get a first look introduction to CML. Well, this is my first look at CML also. So we will be in this together. Let's uh, first look at their website, CML, Cisco Modeling Labs. You can quickly and easily simulate Cisco and non-Cisco networks using real Cisco images. Well, <laughs> You're not going to be using real Cisco images if you're implementing a non-Cisco network. So I wonder what that means. I'm curious if you can actually put third-party operating systems in here, like other, other vendors' uh, router software, and emulate other non-Cisco routers. So remains to be seen what that means. And so we will explore this together. You can build out real-world labs. So this looks like it's going to be really, really great to use to test various types of topologies and protocols and things. You can use it in single user mode, personal edition or personal plus. Looks like the difference is you have 20 nodes here. You have 40 nodes here. And uh, one at this one's a couple hundred dollars or two Cisco learning credits. This one is $350 or four of Cisco Learning Credits. This is the one I purchased using Cisco Learning Credits. All right, so just, just so you know exactly what we're looking at, that's the one we will be looking at. Then you have other options for enterprise or higher education. Okay, the software has already been installed in a virtual machine. There's two files. There's an ISO file and an OVA file that you'll need. Uh, when you uh, purchase it, it'll have a link to go to the download site to download those, those files that you'll need. And when you're doing the install, there's a sysadmin account. There's an admin account. These accounts get you into two different interfaces. One of them's the cockpit login. It's an underlying, uh, I think it's a CentOS uh, environment that CML sits on. The other login is the actual graphical user interface for creating your CML labs. So we'll look at both of these. You can create subsequent user accounts to give uh, others access into it. And so let's get going. There's a couple different ways to access Cisco modeling labs. Now, this web interface is what is known as the cockpit. I'm pretty sure this is called the cockpit. It's an underlying uh, Linux image that CML sits on. And the person that installed this for me gave me a login already. And so when I log into this, this is what I see. And I have not done anything to this yet. All right. Just want to give you a first look at what I saw when logging into this also. And you could see that it is accessed with HTTPS and the IP address of the uh, server that this is installed on, colon 9090. Now the actual CML GUI, graphical user interface for logging in and creating labs, looks like this. And you can see it's HTTPS and the IP address of the server that it's installed on. Now this is where that admin account is used that was created at install time. And even before I hit enter on the login, I'll draw your attention to the version that we are evaluating, version 2.2.1 build 36. And we click login, and now we have access to the Cisco Modeling Labs dashboard graphical user interface. Right away, it's kind of nice. You'll see that you can see the utilization 
in the system health. Uh, I'll have to move myself out of the way. There we go. Uh, you can see the CPU load down here. You can see the memory utilization and disk. Also, there's something that mentions system health issue. Let's click on that. And it tells us it's not licensed. No simulations can be started before the system has a valid license installed. So please add a license. Let's jump over here to where I initially ordered uh, and purchased Cisco Modeling Labs in the Cisco Learning Network store. You can see that I bought the personal version. It was $199. That's the 20 node version. And to get your license, you click this button right here. So after you click the license button, you will have your license exposed down below. And then you can click this button right here to copy it to the clipboard. Now let's get back over into our Cisco Modeling Labs dashboard. And let's look at that system health issue message again. Let's click on licensing. You can uh, go to product configuration. Pick the product that you purchased. Mine was a 20 node personal license. And then click save. And we see that right away it shows it as unregistered and that you are in evaluation mode lasting 91 days. All right. And so it tells you that if you want to register it, go to your account page, which I had previously showed you, and get your registration token. So click on register and we will paste that token that we previously copied off of the account web page, we'll paste it right into here. And once you've done that, you'll get a little green message, product instance registration token. Click the register button. And then you get a registering status message uh, down here in the bottom right corner. And you see it progress through the registration. And then you get a couple green check marks that you are authorized and registered. Now click Dashboard and it'll take you back to the GUI. We see that we still have a system health issue, but now licensing is green. That is checked. And so we're good to go. But now we have another issue with the reference platform. It says there's an issue with the system configuration, such as VM settings, CPU capabilities. We will have to consult the installation guide for more information on how to fix this issue. Yes, it's true. Two days has now gone by from the recent clip to now. So I say that because check out what we have now. Now I log in to my Cisco Modeling Labs dashboard and I no longer have my system health error. It says status OK, and I really don't know why. If anybody out there knows if it takes a while for the system to register and to get rid of that message or to notice uh, the ISO file that has the images, let me know uh, when the Cisco Modeling Labs uh, ISO and OVA files were installed they were done together. I think it's the ISO file that has the images. And so uh, I think that's the platform file that has all the virtual platforms in it. Well, I don't know if it takes a while for that to uh, recognize after putting in the license. But again, it's been two days. We have a status OK message. This is beautiful. And so everything checks out. Uh, also, I want to mention when you click on CPU or memory or disk, just click on one of them. It pops up the bar and gives you a little more details of everything. Early on when I mentioned there's a few different ways to access CML, I meant there's a few different ports that are open when you install CML. If you go to 
uh, one of Cisco's many documents on administering CML 2.0. Uh, I found this one. It shows default open ports. Now this 443 is how we access the GUI for creating uh, the CML labs. It's that dashboard that I've been showing you. 9090 is that cockpit login that I was showing you. There's another one, port 22 is a terminal server, and it tells you that uh, the terminal server is provided for troubleshooting purposes only and should not be used to make system changes without the guidance of the Cisco TAC. Okay, so um, also I'll take a, a moment to mention, I think it's the enterprise version of CML that actually gets you TAC support. Otherwise you have community support for CML and you can reach out to other people or chat in this um, on my YouTube channel about it and let's, we can support each other's efforts. So let me just show you briefly, uh, SSH, use the admin account and the IP address that it's installed on. And that is in my installation, 72. Okay, so let me log in. And so you have a console server, CML 2.0. If you hit a question mark, it tells you to use the help key. And so there's a few help commands there. Let me put a white background on that so you can see that a little bit better. There we go. All right, so at least you know that this exists, and if you ever need to access it, you can. All right, so here we are in the CML dashboard. Everything is clean and green. Uh, status OK. Now, when you hit this Add button up here, you will get a pop-out of all your different platform options. Now, I will say this. It's not in the video, but earlier, when we still had the system health error message where it said there was something wrong with CPUs or something wrong with the platform, I did take a peek at this, and the only thing that you had was something like external connector and server and unmanaged switch maybe a couple others, but you didn't have the Cisco specific images. Okay. So once, you know, like I said, a couple days went by and the system health message went away. It was all green. Now when I go here, it recognizes that platform file, that uh, ISO file, apparently. All right. Uh, and so here's what we have. We have a few different images iOS XRV, iOS XRV 9K, a couple different data center products, NXOS, uh, Vanilla iOS, iOS V, iOS V L2, uh, uh, L2, it's a virtual switch platform. I, if you float your mouse over it, it'll pop up with some specifics. We have iOS XE in the form of a cloud services router, 1000V, got an ASA virtual firewall, so this is cool, all right? Now, like I said, we we hit the add button and these things popped out. When you go to dashboard now, look what you have. You have an empty entry here, okay? Let's do that again. We hit add, we had the pop out of all the different nodes show up, then we clicked dashboard. Now we have two entries. So it, it looks to me like it's creating empty lab environments every time we hit this add button. If you want to get rid of these, just hit the trash can. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so you can remove those, go back to add, and then proceed. All right. Uh, I want to take, the, the, take a moment here to say that often I'll uh, say, hey, if you know anything about this or that, drop a comment. This is this is a community effort here. You know, I, I'm I'm discovering some things that I'm trying to share. Uh, there's some things that I feel like I know a lot about. Some things that I don't know much about, like CML. Like I said, this is my first look. And as we learn, let's learn together. So if you want to share in the comments, so that we can all um, dialogue and have a, a bantering, a back and forth of the things that we're learning on our journey, feel free to do so. All right. So, hey, I hope you're getting something out of this. This was just an intro to uh, CML. Uh, look for another video in the future for how I learn to add nodes and connect them, create a network topology, and get to know CML even better. 
Su subscribe if you like what you're getting out of this channel. Share it with others that you think might be able to benefit as well. And I look forward to the next one.